Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'm going to be unboxing another Black Series Star Wars figure. This time it is Queel from The Mandalorian. Uh, this one is numbered number 7 in The Mandalorian. There's quite a few in this new packaging from Mandalorian because it's like current Star Wars property so they've released quite a lot of figures. Uh, this is the artwork on the side, it's very nice, this picture of Queel. And you can see him in the box here. Uh, it comes with a gun by the look of it. Uh, nothing else. I don't know if I'll ever bring out his creature that he rides. A bl was it Blurg? I think it's called. But let's get this open and we'll have a cool close look up at this figure. So, it's him in the plastic packaging. Just take them out. He's quite a hefty figure. He's got this built-in backpack on him, um, so he's got a bit of weight to him. Uh, that is, you can lift that off. I don't know if you can take it off. Uh, I'm not going to try, but that's loose around his neck. So there's a possibility that might come off. Can't see a way of taking it off other than taking his head off, which I don't really want to force. And um, you can take his hat off. That's interesting. And uh, so, like quite a few of these Black Series figures with helmets and hats, you can take them off. So that's cool. And um, probably keep it on him though, because he looks cool like that. Um, let's have a quick look at his weapon first. So it's like pretty standard um, gun by the look of it. Which is nice, at least he comes with something. Uh, then we have the articulation. Uh, his head does turn and it does go up and down a little bit. The scarf's a little restrictive with that, uh, but not too bad. Uh, his shoulders go up a bit, they go about that high. And elbows, there's also a swivel at the end of the glove here. Uh, it's got swivel at the waist, a little bit of uh, movement there, not a huge amount. Um, legs, you've got a thigh at the top here, standard knee and feet as well. Standing up, he seems to be pretty solid, he can stand up straight away, which is good. Uh, he's got some nice details on him, he's got this nice belt, a um, little couple of pouches, that are moulded on there. Again, this rucksack it is empty. It's got a little space here. I'd probably try not to make it too back heavy so he topples backwards. Uh, but he stands up pretty well on his own. Uh, let's just pop the gun in his hands, see how that goes. So the gun's a bit weird. It doesn't really have a handle, which is a little strange. I don't quite know, I'm going to have to look him up online to see how you actually put that on because you can see it hasn't got a handle like a normal gun would and it has got a trigger finger but it doesn't really work like that so yeah, I'm going to have to work out how you do that but you can put it on his shoulder like that I guess that's not too bad so yeah, he looks really cool. I'm not sure about the scale of him. He looks quite tall. Um, I remember him being quite short in the episodes, but I haven't watched it for quite a while, so maybe he's into scale. I'll just show you in scale with the Mandalorian. Um, so he comes up to about his shoulder-ish. Uh, so yeah, I mean, he probably is in scale, I don't know. Um, yeah, it looks very cool next to Mandalorian there. So another great addition to my Black Series collection. I've got quite a lot of Mandalorian figures now. And I'm looking forward to more coming out. I've got Moff Gideon and Grief Karga to open, so they'll be coming soon. And other than that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.